It's another cold day here in central Iowa. I think the temperature out right now is 15 or 18, something like that. It was 14 when I came out first thing this morning. We have blue skies and sunshine, but it's rather cool. And we're gonna start this video off with a little mail time. Went down to the post office yesterday, got an alert that I had something down there, went down there and there's there's four or five things here. Pretty sure this one's a license plate. This comes from Aaron Lambert and he's from Virginia. So we'll open this up and see what we have. Maybe. And we actually have an Ohio license plate, rather heavy duty Ohio license plate, birthplace of aviation. And it looks like a personalized plate, but I'm not sure what it stands for. N-I-N-F-T-W, I'm not, what's that, what's that stand for? Probably makes sense and I'm just not catching it. But thank you very much, Aaron. This will be going up on the wall. No note or anything along with that. Not that I see, anyway. So on to the next package. The next one comes from, all the way from Canada. And looks like it comes, all it says is from Lloyd. So we'll open this up, see what we have in here. Feels like another license plate of some kind. This plate is off a 93 Thunderbird I had in 2011. It will look better on your wall. Enjoy the videos, keep up the good work. Thank you very much, Lloyd. Get the, uh, got the note taped on to the plate here. that up on the fan board. Beautiful British Columbia. Thank you, Lloyd. This will be going up on the wall as well. Next, this comes from Tim, Tim Collard. Tim's Small Engine Repair. And we'll take a look in here, see what we have. have a lot of tape. And in this very protective cardboard shell we have another license plate. Make sure there's nothing else in there and there's not. Hi John, I thought you let's see. Hi John, I thought you could use an Idaho plate for your wall. Thanks for all the work you do on the videos. Tim Scenic Idaho, famous potatoes. You know, a lot of people, uh, you talk to them about Iowa, Idaho, they get the corn and potatoes things mixed up all the time. But thank you, Tim. Up on the wall she goes. And last but not least, this comes from Jeff Blackwell, South Carolina. Looks to be a Christmas card. And it says, Merry Christmas, wishing you all the gifts of the season and much happiness in the new year. I like to watch you on YouTube videos and Merry Christmas, Jeff Blackwell. And you can see that right there. Thank you very much, Jeff. This will be going up on the fan board. And that concludes this little segment of mail time on the Fox Shop. And if you have a license plate, fan mail, or anything else that you would like to send to the Fox Shop, the address is in the description below. All right, well I got these plates up there right away. Got two there. Got the British Columbia up there. Still need to get me another bulletin board. Need to get to town and do that. I put the card up there, one note there, and one there. Those are just temporarily, those are just temporarily hung up there like that. I. I need to get another board. Not sure where I'm gonna put another board being that I put this shelf in here now. 
Might be able to put one over here or may just have to move to a different wall somewhere. And I do still have a stack of Michigan plates here. I did hang a couple up last night. I put one there, one there. Also had a Nebraska plate that I hung up there. Got sent about, I think it was 15 or 18 Michigan plates. And I just didn't want to hang them all up in one area. Got a few over here. So as I get more, I'll just kind of work those in among others. And Tim, it, it appears that Jesse liked your envelope the best. So as far as the project truck goes, I'm, I'm waiting on some parts. Last night I changed the oil in it and I went for a drive, tested the compression and it was down about 120. And then I just tested it, it was up about 150. So, so we're gonna take the truck out for a little drive and just see how it does. Still got a little shaky to it. A whole lot better than it was though, that's for sure. I'm gonna let this warm up just a bit and then we're gonna take it for a little spin, see how it does. Not real sure how well you can hear me. This door has a bit of an air leak in it. The weather seal around it just, it doesn't seal up very good. The door's kind of dented up. And Anyway, so just going for a little drive here. Seems to drive down the road fairly decent. Gonna take it out, run it, get it warmed up, take her on back to the shop. So we just got back from our little drive and the truck runs like it's been running lately. Has a vibration to it, it did go away at one time. After I shut the camera off I came here and then I left again for a short time and it ran pretty darn good and when I got back it was back to how it's been running. So anyway, that's, uh, that's about all I have on the truck. I'm going to put new axle pivot bushings in because when I had it jacked up, when I was doing the transmission, you could really, they were really stretched out, not in very good shape. And may have something to do with why these wheels sit kind of like that. And of course the heater's gonna turn on. Or it might be ball joints. I do need to drain oil out of the truck again. Several people were saying run some automatic transmission fluid in the oil, and I have done that. Doesn't seem to have fixed anything but may have cleaned some stuff up. Need to get that out of there and get some fresh oil back in it. And next week, I believe I'm gonna be getting, I have somebody that we've made a deal. He, uh, he has a lot of truck parts, rust-free truck parts that are in good shape. He's gonna supply me with some parts, like the coil buckets and that rear leaf spring hanger and shackle and any other parts like that that I may need. Also, when I put the uh, new coil buckets on, I'm gonna be putting these springs in. These will actually lift the front of the truck up about two inches. I had those on my green truck for a very short time. I don't think they had a thousand miles on them. And then I started doing work on my green truck, I ended up lifting that, and they've just been sitting around. So I'm gonna throw them on this truck. And this truck does need it. A little saggy in the front. Looks more like a two-wheel drive than a four-wheel drive. So that should help that situation. So that's all I've got right now. We're gonna get things going on the truck, just getting things lined up right now. Give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.